Hello everybody, this is Grandpa Scott again for another Snapseed mini tutorial lesson. Today I'll be talking about the tonal contrast filter in Snapseed. Let's go. As mentioned, today we'll be working on the tonal contrast filter. We'll be using this image, which I've already opened. If you touch the pencil icon in the lower right, you bring up the various options. And of course you have the tools at the top and then the filters underneath. Second one down on the left is tonal contrast right here. Now the tonal contrast is a filter that will bring out with precise exposure control the shadows and highlights across your image. As always you swipe vertically on the image to access the menu. And then once an option has been selected you swipe horizontally to change that option. The menu includes, as you can see here, low tones, mid tones, high tones, protect shadows, and protect highlights. The low tones adds contrast to the shadows in the image. Mid tones, same thing, adds contrast to the mid tones. And high tones adds contrast to the highlights in the image. Protect shadows prevents details in the shadows from being lost after contrast in the low tones is increased. Protect highlights prevents detail in the highlights from being lost after contrast in the high tones is increased. So let's begin. Uh, this came up with some settings already. What I want to do is uh, take these low tones and exaggerate them a little bit. Let's go up to 100. I'm going to leave mid tones. I'm going to push that down to zero. Remember, experiment with these. They're all. As you experiment, you'll find what you particularly like. I'm going to protect shadows and protect highlights because I want to protect all the detail in the shadows and the highlights as I play with them. And uh, let's see what that gives me before and after in the total view. I'm actually now going to go down here and actually get rid of protect highlights. Does that do anything? Doesn't really do anything, does it? Um, what about protect shadows? Protect shadows does have an impact, you can see. So I'm going to leave protect shadows off, basically down at zero. And I'm going to put all this impact in the picture by selecting the check mark. Now I don't want this entire impact on the picture, so I'm then going to come up to the stacks, this little box number one next to the save icon at the top. I'm going to open up stacks, touch the tonal contrast button, and then go to the brush, the middle icon in the flyout menu. And now I'm going to brush this effect we've just dealt with where I want it, which is right on this, the head. Remember if you touch the blue icon, the eye icon, you can see in red where this effect is being uh, inserted. I want it inserted on this grandson's hair and his face, and that's all. Before, after. I'm going to say yes, accept that. Now this is the before picture and the after picture. What I've done is just brightened and added contrast to the shadows in his hair and his ear. I'm now going to go and add another tonal contrast filter and for this one I'm going to go again high tones I'm going to take up to about a hundred whoops protect shadows I got on that Let's see high tones a hundred mid tones I want down I want to take those up to a hundred low tones down to zero and what I'm focusing on is I'm looking at this piece of paper on his high chair tray. That's where I want this effect and that's the only place I want it. If I leave it on the entire photograph, you see the before and the after. But if you look just at the paper on the high chair, you see the before and the after and that's where I want it. So I'll check the accept. I'll open up the stack. So it's number two. Go to the top stack and hit brush, the brush icon. Now I'm going to zoom in I'm going to turn on the little eye and I'm going to brush this effect of the filter just on this paper. Accept it. 
And now you can see the before picture, look at the paper, and the after picture. The before and the after, the original and after the total effect. So I'm going to accept this. This is just how I want it. I'll save a copy and I'm done. So play with these various features. They tweak various parts of the image, can bring out shadows and highlights and protect those uh, in your image. I don't use it a lot, but when it can benefit the picture, it really does make a difference. Once again, it's easy if you know how to do it. It's easier if you do it a time or two, and it's easiest if you do it a bunch. So get in there and play with it. You gotta love Snapseed.